weird knuckle swatch this time. Almost looks like a mustache. <laughs> Welcome back. So got a review and mini tutorial for y'all today on the Morphe 35F Fall into Frost palette. So I'm going to do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about pricing and packaging. We'll look at swatches. I'll talk about just kind of how these shadows perform and just my overall opinions about this palette. And then I'm also going to show you a little mini tutorial on the look that I'm wearing today. So it's just a very kind of like warm cranberry sort of an eye. So let's jump into it. Okay, pricing and packaging. So this palette retails for $22.99 on Morphe's website, but you can always find coupon codes for either like 10 or 15% off. I know a lot of YouTubers have coupon codes. I don't personally have one, but if you just do some research, you can probably find a couple of them. So pretty good price point, especially for how many shadows you get. Now packaging on this, it is very, very basic. I mean, pretty stinking cheap. You don't get any kind of a mirror or anything, but I would much rather sacrifice on the packaging and get, you know, really good eyeshadows inside, which I think these are really good. So this is a very warm toned palette. It's got a lot of shimmery shades. All of these up here are shimmery. The only mattes are the bottom row, but they are beautiful. So it's a super warm palette. Um, it's more cranberry than the 35O. The 35O is more kind of like orangey golden, where this one definitely has some of those colors, but it has more of the purpley cranberry sort of color. So I think it is definitely going to be really pretty for the fall. I love the color selection. So let's show you some swatches because they're amazing. Here are the first two rows. So this is the first row and the second row. I mean, what? There are no duds in this group. They are all beautiful. So rows one and two. Then row three and row four. These are all gorgeous too. All just like incredibly pigmented, so metallic. I would say my standouts, like my personal favorites in the whole palette are like these like cranberry red sort of colors. Like this one's my favorite in the whole palette. Like that is amazing. That's what I've got on my eyelid today. And it's just, incredible. And then I also really love this like super yellowy gold. Woo! These are all pretty. And then lastly we have the bottom row which are all the mattes and we have an extremely weird knuckle swatch this time. Almost looks like a mustache. <laughs> that might be my favorite knuckle swatch ever. But anyway, here are all the mattes. So this row isn't as like, oh my gosh, amazing as the other rows, but these are very necessary shadows. You know, you need mattes in an eye look. So these are really nice mattes. I mean, they are buttery, they blend well, they just really work well. I would have loved a matte light cream color for a brow bone. It doesn't have that in here. And I would have loved a like dark chocolatey brown. So I do wish the palette had those. And honestly, I would have loved maybe like one more row of mattes. I think that would have been really nice to have just a few more mattes in the palette, but these are very, very nice. A lot of transition colors here, so perfect for an eye look. And then as far as formula goes on these, just how they are to blend and work with and how they wear throughout the day, I think that they are so nice. The mattes blend really beautifully. The shimmery metallic shades really build on themselves nicely, but honestly, you really don't even have to build them that up that much because they're super, super pigmented right off the bat. So I think that they are wonderful to work with. Love them so much. Honestly, I feel like, I don't know if Morphe has changed their formula in any way, but I originally had the 35W, and while I liked that one, I feel like the 35O and then this one, the 35F, are just so amazing. So I don't know if somehow they've changed something. I have no clue, but I feel like these last two that I've had, 35O and 35F, I bought one in between like the 12S even, those just all seem to be really, really great. So I love the formula on these. So overall, I'm super pleased with this, this palette. I love it. I think it's so nice. I think it's beautiful for summer, great for transitioning into fall, and it'll be beautiful in fall as well. So I love it. I highly recommend it. I think it's beautiful. So that's my review on it. So now we're gonna get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've already applied some primer. So now I'm gonna take this L'Oreal eyeshadow in Seashell on a fluffy brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending E40. I'm just gonna sweep that all over my eyelids. This palette really doesn't have a good matte brow bone 
shade or like a initial all over shade so that's why I bring in this one. Now I'm going to take my Sedona Lace EB15 brush and get a combo of these two shades right here and these are going to be my crease and transition colors so just applying that right into my crease and blending up. I heard a really good tip in a video, and I don't remember whose it was, but I've never really thought about when I lay down a crease color, kind of where I start my windshield wiper motions, but the person, I can't remember who it was, said start in the middle and then go back and forth, and I thought that was so helpful. It really does make a huge difference. So now when I do my crease and transition area, I'm starting in the middle and then blending back and forth makes a big difference. Now I'm going to take a small Wet n Wild concealer brush and I'm going to get some of this color right here. It is a beautiful like cranberry shade. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I'm going to pack that all over my lids. I'm going to take a small crease brush and get some of this color right here and I'm just going to apply this right into my outer corner and blend that just the tiniest little bit into my crease. Really just trying to get a little bit of dimension out here in the outer corner but really want to make that cranberry the main part of the look. pack a little bit more of my cranberry shade on and then also do a little bit more blending with my blending brush and those crease colors. Now I take that same wet and wild brush and get some of this color right here. And I'm going to apply that right into my inner corners mainly on like the actual inner corner, but then just blend it just a little bit into that cranberry shade. It just adds this brightness that is so pretty. I'm gonna line my upper and lower lash line with a Sephora pencil. This is in Tiramisu. Then over that liner on my lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of this color right here. It's very close to this one, but I just kind of want to switch it up. And I'm going to apply that all over my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that lighter shade on just the inner part as well. And I'm using a Sedona Lace EB21 brush for this. Now I'm going to apply some mascara, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'll show you the final look. Alright guys, so that wraps up this review and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below if you've tried this palette, what you think about it, what are some of your favorite shades or looks to do with it. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!